uh, congratulations. I know this was a day that you've been looking forward to for, for a long, long time. How's it feel to officially be a Mountaineer? It feels great, um, especially with the recruitment process. It's been going on for around two years now. Um, so it's been a very fun process, but it's been very tiring. And uh, just to get that over with and sign to the school that I really love and would love to play at is just a dream come true. I know we've talked about this before, but what was it ultimately that made West Virginia the choice? And you know, and, and, and ever since you committed you know, over the summer, how, how have what they've done reaffirmed your commitment to them? 100% uh, the coaching staff. I truly think that um, I, every single coaching staff I got the chance to talk to over the recruiting process, uh, they were the realest with me. Um, they were the truthful with me. And uh, you know, I think that to a recruit, that means a lot to have adults that will be coaching you in your future to come up to you and say, hey, you know, this is the real deal and we're not going to lie to you. Um, that's something that a recruit really looks at. And I really love Morgantown. Uh, it's a great place to be. Love the area and love the fans. Fans are amazing. Um, by far, they're some of the best fans in the nation. Yeah, I was going to say, you get to obviously go play Power 5 football now. Just how do you feel like your game translates from, from this level to the college level and, you know, and, and Power 5 football? 100%. Uh, it's going to be challenging, but uh, you got to work, work your butt off and uh, to get to that point, you know, it may take a couple years or it may not. So uh, you just got to go in there with a mindset that you got to bring 150% every single play and uh, just go from there. How do you see yourself kind of fitting in with uh, with their program? And was it ultimately that you feel like you do well as an offensive lineman that can help them out? Uh, especially this year, they're really trying to establish a run game. And obviously our offense is mainly uh, rushing. So I feel like I really fit in there. Uh, that's something they really want to do. And really our O-line commits for the entire class uh, really bases, um, they really run the ball a lot, so uh, that's something that we really um, want to do. In your conversations with the coaching staff, just how do they see you kind of fitting in, and what did they like about your game that they felt, you know, that they wanted you to become a Mountaineer and that they think you can help impact their program? Uh, yeah, so they thought I was really light on my feet. They thought I could really move well on the field, pull around, um, so that's something they really want in the linemen. I found out today I'll probably play center, so uh, uh, they, they really think that I'll, I'll do good there and uh, after some experience that I could really succeed in that position. Now, I was going to say, how do you feel like, you know, your, 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 your ability to kind of move all over the line has helped, you know, prepare you for this next step? And, you know, obviously snapping is a different game, but, but do you feel comfortable being able to make that transition? 100%. Uh, you know, moving positions is uh, very, you have to have a really good mindset of it because you got to know who to block and uh, along with the snap count and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, I think it's really prepared me well, um, and I really appreciate the coaches and staff for kind of setting me up uh, for a position like that. What do you still want to see your game grow the most, and where do you want to see your game, you know, where do you want to improve as you get ready for this next step? Um, I think in the weight room, uh, that's something that I think that it can really improve. You know, I'm going to a school that has one of the top strength coaches in the nation, Mike Joseph, um, and so once I get with him and start to work out with him, I feel like that's something that can really improve. Uh, expectations for you personally and, and for this class coming in, obviously, what do you guys want to accomplish, you know, for you personally, but also as a class at, at West Virginia? Uh, we know we're a really big class for them. We know that a lot of the fans and coaching staff are expecting a lot of us. So we really got to rise up to that expectation. We got to go in there with the hard mindset um, to bring it every single day and to um, just constantly uh, be leaders to everyone on the team and go in there and uh, have a positive mindset throughout the uh, football days. Obviously, uh, you know, Mason's going Division One. Ryland's going Division One. You're signing with DJ. Just just talk about, you know, what it means to, you know, see your guys' football dreams come true together. And obviously, you get to sign with DJ. Just what's it mean for you to be able to, to fulfill these dreams together? You know, it's a great feeling uh, to grow up with these, all these guys um, throughout our Cup football, junior high, and now varsity. Uh, just been amazing. I've really gotten to know the guys well. And just to see them for their careers in football, um, as well as me and DJ, it's just great to see, and uh, you know, you just love to see that as a friend and a teammate. How do you see yourself, uh, or not? How do you see yourself? But how do you feel like your time here at Leo and under Coach Souter and everything has helped kind of prepare you for this next step too? It was awesome. Uh, you know, I, I feel like our coaching staff and my teammates personally have really um, done me good. Um, they always challenge me to be the best person I can be on and off the field, and so I really appreciate that. Any idea what you want to study today? Uh, somewhere in the medical field, I think. Uh, I haven't really decided yet, but we'll see as that time comes closer.